On to row 12. We start here with the L1 block. This is not a modified block, so I, when I was doing block assembly, I worked directly from the book. And I have these pieces laid out over here. Um, you have an exploded view. So I have these here and so on. Um, I have a directional background, so I have arrows on my pieces. When you go to assemble this, I block prepped this and threw this all in a baggie. When you go to assemble, you've got two sizes of these strips. You've got a wider strip and a narrower strip. The narrower strip is going to be on the outside. The wider strip is going to be on the inside. Make sure that you make note of that when you go to assemble this piece. What I'm going to do, real simple, straightforward, I'm going to assemble this square, assemble this square, and then put the extra bits on each of these squares and then I'm going to connect each of the four units. So if you look at this from the standpoint of one block, so I'll assemble this center section and then add these extra bits. This is already one piece and I'll just add these extra bits. You always want to add the bit that's the same size. So I'll take this and attach it to this and then attach this and then this and then this. Just like a log cabin type assembly. And then I can assemble one of these and then attach this to here. This is a small piece to work with. So I will attach this to this piece and then connect this to a finished piece. And then up here, same thing. I'm going to attach this piece to this and then that one so that you have the right overlap. So just make sure that you make note of that and that you have the correct pieces in the correct location. Basting on my rectangles is very straightforward. I'm going to baste the long sides first of each of the rectangles and then the short sides. This gives me the most crisp edge I can get by doing it that way. And then on my squares, I'm going to do opposing sides and then the other opposing sides. So I'll fold these down first and then have secondary folds on these. So it's a very straightforward type of basting. So I will get started by assembling these log cabin units. So I basted my square and my first rectangle. I'm going to baste as I go so that I can keep track of which one is next. The other thing is when I cover these up, I lose my arrows. So I want to make sure that I have it the right direction. This particular is a stripe. This is easier to see on a bigger piece. So I've got a stripe with the leaves facing up. So I just want to make sure that when I do have this basted, that I have it in the right direction. And then my square is also a directional fabric. So I want to make sure that this leaf is up. So if you've got directional fabrics you're working with on this block, go slow and baste as you go so that you can keep track of which one goes where and in what direction it needs to be. So I've assembled these two pieces together and now I have basted the side piece that goes on next and I made sure that the stripes go up and down when I did my block prep. So I'm going to put this on this section and then this one goes next and then this one goes next. So I've assembled this entire center square with all of my stripes going the correct direction. So now I'm going to attach one of these rectangles. So I'm going to base these two and connect them and then attach that to this piece. So I've attached this bottom rectangle to the central portion and I have attached these two together. So now that I've got those two pieces connected, I can connect this which will essentially form this entire square under here um, on the book. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to repeat the process for this section. So I've got each of these log cabin sections completed and the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to baste this and attach these two pieces to get 
this and this, and then I can assemble the block. So I've got my pieces basted and I've got these taped together ready to stitch. And so I'm going to attach this because it's the same size as the square. And then I'm going to attach the longer one to the bottom. And then I'm going to repeat the process. So I've got all four of my quadrants assembled. So now it's a point, a matter of putting these together and making sure that they're in the direction that they need to be. And I will have a block after I attach all four squares together. So I've attached each quadrant together and I now have a completed L1 block.